Welcome to Sensory Tailing. My name is Jeremiah. What's your name? Well, it is a pleasure to meet you. May I ask, what brings you in today? Are we looking for um, suit? Are we looking for shirts, shoes, dress, tie? A suit. Very nice. Excellent. And may I ask, what is the occasion? The Kentucky Derby. Ooh. That is very exciting. Usually, uh, when my customers come in, it's for a wedding. It's by far the most common. Uh, followed by work. Uh, of course, classic. Uh, boardroom, CEO, executive types. Uh, but the Derby, that is exciting. Uh, have you ever been to the Kentucky Derby? First time. Well, I myself have also, tragically, uh, never been to the Kentucky Derby. However, I have seen video and photographs and can say uh, quite confidently that it is one of the most spectacular uh, displays of formal wear in the United States. Basically, the beauty is there are no rules. You can go as flamboyant as you like. In fact, dare I say, it is encouraged. Uh, and before we begin, I offer you some refreshment. Uh, we have uh, several types of scotch. We have an Ardbeg 17. We have a Buchanan's 18. We have an Oban 14. Buchanan's. Excellent. Let me give you some Buchanan's. Uh, do you take it uh, neat, rocks, water? Just neat. Fantastic. Well, I've been running the shop now uh, for about, about two years. About two years. And I've had the great pleasure of... Um, I'll do a little presentation as if I'm a, like a, a waiter at a restaurant. Buchanan 18. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, So what I'm wearing, okay, this is a classic single-breasted two-button suit. Uh, it is uh, worsted wool. It is half canvassed with a tight notched lapel. Now, since we're going to the Derby, for most of my suit buyers, I certainly recommend Basically, the suit that I'm wearing, single-breasted, two-button. Uh, but since we're doing the derby, I believe we can take a little bit more of a walk on the wild side. And I would actually invite you to consider a double-breasted. Uh, certainly much more. We're coming back in vogue. You see... Um, kind of flamboyant lawyers. Lawyers can get away with a lot of, kind of interesting suit choices. Uh, and the double-breasted is making a comeback throughout Europe, uh, especially Italy and France. Uh, 
a little bit in the UK as well. And uh, those fashion trends, of course, are making their way across the pond to our humble, humble statesides. So, uh, the reason I'm suggesting double-breasted is we can really let our freak flag fly, if you will. Uh, materials normally, I would recommend worsted wool, uh, super 100 or super 130. Uh, this is the, 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 what do I want to call it? The, the way the fabric is twisted and braided. Um, super 130 being tighter, finer, and higher quality. Uh, but in the case of the Kentucky Derby, we could even go linen or possibly even mohair. But I think linen. Linen, of course, being a bit more uh, lighter weight, a bit more breathable, and for a summertime event like the Derby, I do believe uh, you will thank me. So, the question is, do you trust me? I know we barely know each other. I know. But, uh, I have a feeling that you will be, as they say, the bell of the ball. Or at least, you won't be the least well-dressed. Shall we begin? Wonderful. Wonderful. So, let me begin by taking some basic measurements. Do you know your height? Okay. I will trust but verify, of course. Hold still, right there. Okay. accessory and can certainly add a panache to your outfit. Yeah, good. Okay, I'll do head measurements as well. So, uh, so we are looking for a double-breasted uh, three-piece. Of course, the nice thing about a three-piece, also known as having a waistcoat, is that uh, in the event that your suit is a bit too warm, when you feel the need to take it off, you'll still look very sharp with uh, with the waistcoat. Yes? Okay. So three-piece, double-breasted, and normally I would recommend, this is known as a notch lapel. For, you can see it's a nice little notch. Uh, and the next step up, if you will, would be what's known as a peak lapel. So this area here on the suit, we're gonna make it actually, it'll actually stick up at an angle, as opposed to just a cutout notch. It'll kind of go either horizontal or vertically up, a little wider. Uh, we can even add trim. Basically what I'm telling you is <clears throat> we can go full 1970s if you wish. You know, those those flamboyant suits from the 70s and the 80s. Yeah, yeah. We can add a, a little bit of that to that. So, uh, you trust me. All right. 
peak lapel. That's what I. That's what I was hoping you'd say. The other option is a, uh, a shawl. Now a shawl lapel is uh, there's no there's no notch here at all. And a shawl shawl uh, lapel uh, think of it more as like a tuxedo or like a smoking jacket. You know, Hugh Hefner kind of a style. Rest in peace, my friend. Um, we could do a shawl lapel, but yeah, we could do a shawl peak. Peak is the way. Yes, let's do a peak. Peak lapel, and I think we agreed on linen. Yes. And we're just buying one suit or two. So we can go and give you options. Depending on your budget. Okay. We'll measure you. Well, once I have your measurements, I can literally create anything. Right now, you are my canvas. Uh, and once I have your measurements, we can uh, create whatever we wish. So if you decide in a few days or weeks or even after you purchase this suit and you say, you know, Jeremiah, I could also use X, Y, and Z. I will have everything stored. And I'll be able to do a custom fit. We'll have to have you back, of course, for the final the final fitting, as I'll have to have you back uh, in about two weeks for the final fitting of this suit. But we'll cut out a few steps. Unless, of course, you want to come back and we can do it all again. Completely fine with me. Uh, okay. Great. Let's continue measuring. Since we are planning on doing a hat. I'm going to measure your head. Do you mind if I touch your head? Okay. Stay right there, please. And... And hold that right there. Okay. Just, oh, please just relax and enjoy the Buchanan's. Yeah. Uh, what was I? Neck, yes. Okay. And let's measure your left shoulder. Uh, relax your shoulders, please. Just stand. Just stand loose and comfortable. Don't flex. Don't puff out your chest. Don't suck in your gut. Uh, I wanna, we just want to make sure that everything is is fitted so that it hides everything you don't want and it amplifies everything that we do. So let's still please your left shoulder. Let's make sure we are symmetrical. Okay. Your shoulders are symmetrical. It really doesn't matter. Some people, if they're very dominant hand, uh, right or left, um, one side can be a little bulkier than the other. It's, uh, it's not an issue for us. Uh, but you're, you're, you're fine. And if you wouldn't mind, please now, hold out your arms just like so, yes? Just nice, kind of think of almost like a uh, Venetian, Da Vincian, Vitruvian man. <clears throat> and also, And 
Put your arms again just like this. I'm gonna measure your chest. And your waist. Uh, just pick up your arms a little bit for me, just to the sides a little bit. Thank you. And By the way, uh, thank you very much for wearing uh, uh, formal shoes. And many times people come in to buy a suit and sneakers or even flip-flops. And the reality is we don't stand the same way in different types of footwear. Uh, it really does change the, our, our personal aesthetic. So thank you for wearing proper shoes. Now, uh, is where are your pants are right now. Is that where you always wear your pant? Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to measure your out seam. So just, uh, just stand right where you are, please. And... measure both legs. Uh, another strange fact. Many humans have slightly different leg lengths. It's not incredibly common, but it is also not uncommon. So, uh, your right leg. Just uh, stand still, please.
space. Now the, the rise is how much space we have uh, in the crotch area, frankly, uh, and how tight or loose we would like it. Uh, with a double-breasted suit, we have a bit more leeway uh, to go with a, a bit, uh, a bit more room, if you will, rather than a you know. Uh, uh, a more modern, sleek, tight, slim-fitted suit. I want to make this fitted, but I also want to make it comfortable. Okay? So. Uh, please hold this uh, right, basically, on your belt buckle, please. Hold that right there. Okay. And I'm just going to reach through here. And stay right there, please. Right about. wasn't too invasive. Don't worry. I'll buy you dinner later. Sorry, tailoring humor. Right. Now, um, with the pant, do we want a cuff, a break, uh, or straight? We can go either way. Um, uh, the more modern look is no cuff. Yeah. Uh, but the break is where the pant sits. So it's uh, basically, a, if you are planning on a question, then you can go either way. Are we wearing socks to this event? So I can go higher and expose more of the ankle. Again, summary, very much less formal. Uh, we can do that, or you can, of course, wear your most uh, festive socks. Uh, and maybe you want to show those off a little bit. Okay. okay. Uh, so we're going to go a tiny bit short, not too short. We don't want to look like a... You don't want to look like a... Like Tom Sawyer, you know, like like you're wearing your britches are are too short. We don't want we don't want that look. No, it's not ideal. It's kind of like peasant farm boy look, or farm girl look, whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we are just about done. Uh, so. Here's what we are going to do. Uh, I'm going to craft this suit. It will take me about a week. Uh, at that point in time, I will call you, uh, and we'll come in for a second fitting, uh, this time doing any last tailoring adjustments. Remember, at that point, I still have a lot of room to tweak adjust to get the fit just right. Now, uh, uh, what is your phone number? Excellent. Uh, so you can expect a call from me in about a week. And do you want to make a deposit now uh, or pay the full price now? Minimum deposit is two hundred dollars. Okay. No, thank you. Paying two hundred deposit now, and the rest when we complete. Well, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It has been a pleasure to get to know you, uh, and I cannot wait to see what you look like in this amazing double-breasted linen suit for the Kentucky Derby. Uh, I think you will turn quite a few heads. Okay. Have a wonderful day, and I will get to work.